there is always a need to improve crops so that they can withstand environmental adversities or enhance yield potential, reduce flowering time and others. And mutational breeding is among the most popular and accepted methods to achieve these objectives. Hello and welcome back to Agriculture Series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. And in today's video, we will learn what is mutational breeding and how it works along with an example of crop wheat. We will also see the basic steps involved. This video will be very helpful for you to understand how most of the plant varieties that farmers grow and we all consume come from. So do watch the video till the end. First, it is essential to know what is mutation and why it is important. Mutation refers to change in the genetic composition of an organism. It is the mutation that drives adaptation and evolution of any species. Mutation occurs naturally in all organisms from plants and animals to bacteria and viruses. It is the mutation that has resulted in the evolution of different novel coronavirus variants which differed in the ability to infect its host, multiply and spread to human populations. But as the multiplication rate of virus and bacteria are quite faster compared to higher organisms like plants, they accumulate more mutations much more rapidly. Mutation can be speed up in higher life forms like plants by utilizing physical or chemical mutagens such as radiations and DNA alkylating agents. Such mutations alter genetic composition or the DNA and hence the proteins and the RNA they code for. Ultimately, this affects the characteristics and traits of plants such as tolerance to disease, drought, yield potential, height, color and others. Thus, it can be proved extremely useful for crop variety improvement. One of the most commonly used and potent chemical mutagen is EMS or ethyl methane sulfonate. It is an alkylating agent that is most commonly used for mutating plants. It produces primarily point mutation in the DNA resulting in GC to AT transition and vice versa. To a lesser extent, it may also result in chromosomal segment deletion. EMS concentration ranging from 0.1 to 2% and exposure of seeds for a few hours to several hours has been practiced by scientists depending upon the crop, its survival rate and extent of mutation required. Coming on to the basic steps involved in generating mutant plants, taking an example of wheat. First, about several thousand seeds of wheat are soaked in distilled water for around 6 hours. Then the seeds are gently shaken in EMS solution of appropriate concentration for around 16 hours at 25 to 27 degrees. It should be noted that pre-soaking in water is essential before the EMS treatment as directly giving EMS treatment to dry seeds leads to severe seed lethality. Seeds are then washed thoroughly with running water for around 1 hour to remove the traces of EMS. Seeds are kept at 4 degrees for 2 days before transferring to the field for uniform germination and flowering. It is essential to optimize the concentration of EMS as higher concentration may result in higher seed lethality. Treated seeds are germinated on the moist and filter paper or potting mix which are then checked for the number of surviving plants. Seedling survival rate is determined 21 days after sowing. Survived seedlings are transferred to the bigger pots or the field to harvest the next generation of seeds. Seeds that survive should be propagated using single spike for subsequent generation termed as mutant 2, mutant 3 and so on. A screening is performed in each generation for the desired characters of the mutant. It is essential to perform screening and data collection during each of the subsequent generation to select only seeds or plants with desired characteristics and stabilize their genetic composition. This is the reason why seeds are propagated for several generations and evaluated for desired trait before releasing as a novel variety. Sometimes mutant variety is crossed with other variety to combine suitable traits of two in a single variety. This is termed as mutational breeding. To learn more about breeding, plant issue culture, research and publishing, techniques, spirituality and others, do check out my playlist. Subscribe to stay informed about my latest uploads. Comment below for your queries and requests. I usually respond to them. Thanks and see you in my next video.